Dubious ones, welcome back to the channel for some Ultra Pro Wrestling. But let's start out by making sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like, and leave me your feedback down in the comments down below. Now, today we are going over my five most wanted features, modes, whatever you want to consider them. This is my wish list, my top five things I want to see coming to ultra pro wrestling these are things that sam and crew i hope you can get into the game at some point i understand they probably won't make it for launch but i want you to keep these in mind and hopefully we can see them make the game at some point so let's start from the <laughs> i'm not going to make you guys wait i'm gonna go with the number one most thing i want first and we'll go down to the top five but the number one thing I want to see most. Let's get into it right away. In Ultra Pro Wrestling, the number one thing I want to see most, stipulation titles. Now, what does that mean? That means if I create a title, say, because you're going to have different promotions, you're going to be able to edit titles, create different titles, have different titles. I want to be able to create a stipulation for my title. And I don't just mean... I want a tag title. I want a trios title. So when those are only defended in three-way matches or tag matches or a women's championship that is only defended between women or whatever else, I'm talking about a hardcore title. Because in the WWE 2K games, you've never, ever, ever, in your universe mode, when you have a hardcore title match, it is not by default a hardcore match of any sort. It is not by default a Hell in a Cell a cage match, a ladder match, any kind of no disqualification match. It's just a regular match. You can change that and set the stipulation for each match in your universe independently. But if I have a title that is a stipulation title, I want that stipulation to be there all the time. Obviously, with you being able to change it, so say if it's a hardcore title, it can be also defended in, say, a Hell in a Cell match or a steel cage match or a ladder match. I want those as options for the defense of them, but I want it by default to be set as a at least a hardcore match. This isn't just for a hardcore title, though. I want to be able to create, say, a Hell in a Cell championship. So every match is defended in a Hell in a Cell. Or a ladder match champion. So every match is a ladder match. Or maybe I want a knockout championship. So the only way to win the match is to incapacitate your opponent knock them out or a last man standing championship you got to knock them down for the 10 count or maybe i want a submission only championship so the only way to win is by submission or maybe i want it by ko or submission so if you want like an octagon style a or sorry octagon's wrong where they can't use that but a mixed martial arts style title but it doesn't win there's no judges scorecard you can only win the title by submission or by knockout i want to be able to set those stipulations for different titles so to me a stipulation championship is a must and i want this to affect the career mode so if this title's on the line in career mode it will still have to follow stipulations coding and making that a possibility as far as the career mode goes i don't know so if i have to suffer the fact that it won't affect career mode I can deal with that, but I want to be able to have a championship match that a championship title is only defended in a steel cage, is only fought in an MMA mat, in, in an MMA cage, or is only won by submission, or is only won by pinfall or knockout or over the top rope stipulations, whatever it might be. I want to have stipulation titles where the title, when it's on the line, is going to have stipulations on the line that that title is for. You can change the match type, obviously, so if you wanted to change it so you can have a ladder match for that same title, even though that's not the normal stipulation, but you're going to have a ladder match for it, you have the option to do that. But the fact that after, what, 20 years plus of WWE games and having a hardcore title on the line in a regular match that's not no disqualification has always been a frustrating pain point for me. I don't know if any of you guys care, but like when I'm running my universe, I want my hardcore title defended in a hardcore title match or ECW or if you have an FTW championship like AEW has now. 
You want FTW rules, right? You want to be able to have those stipulation titles like we have them in wrestling. If you say we used to have them, we don't have them anymore. The FTW title is defended under FTW rules. So we do have them in the current landscape of wrestling. So I would like to see stipulation titles added. Um, but this also ties in to my next most wanted um, request, which I know is going to be much further out and it's going to take us longer to get to. But I want to see a universe mode. I eventually want to see a universe style mode come to Ultra Pro Wrestling. And obviously those stipulation titles would be key in the universe mode. Being able to set up your universe the way you want it, a UPW universe, an AEW universe, a WWE universe, whatever you want to do. I want to see that. And if you do come out with the universe mode, I want to see lots of cutscenes. I want all those cutscenes to just randomly happen when I'm in a feud, if you set up any kind of feuds in a universe mode, I want to see cutscenes constantly at the end of, you know, just about every match in a rivalry. I want to see some sort of random, I don't care if they're random, but some sort of cutscene. So that would be key. So the top two things I want, stipulation titles and tying into that, number two, universe mode. And having stipulation titles actually be defended in their stipulation of choice in that universe mode. Um, those are the top two for me. Number three for me, number three is going to be a co-op story mode. Why do I want to see this? Because if I'm playing through the story mode, especially if we don't have universe, because co-op universe would be great too, but I want to have a co-op story so that if I'm playing with my buddy, say Clint and I, Streiser 2 Wrestling, shout out to Streiser 2 Wrestling, but if say him and I, or Loaded as a Beast, shout out to Loaded as a Beast, if we're playing Ultra Pro Wrestling together and say, I want to invite them into, I have a tag team title shot coming up in my um, in my career mode, I want to be able to invite them to play as player two online. I don't want to have to have them sitting at my house or have to play through Parsec or other means. I want to just be able to invite them via online to play in my career mode match if I want. I think that would be really cool. I would love that. And you can just add that as part of the quick search functionality for online matches is you can say invite somebody online and it'll just put that out there. So anyone searching for a random match might just get thrown into a career match like someone's career um, career mode match. I think that would be fun. I would love to see that implemented. So co-op career mode. Again, I'm not asking for an entire tag team um, like branch. Like, that would be cool, too, but, like, not just a tag team branch and where you're going for tag titles necessarily. That would be a really cool um, branch of the storyline if you got a storyline that was tag team focused. I would love that. But just being able to invite someone. So when you do come into multi-man matches, you can just invite a random player online, not just specifically a friend on your friends list, but you can just say, invite online player, and then say anyone who's randomly searching for a match that doesn't have a specific thing in their queue, it's just like quick search, they can jump into your career mode and play as one of the opponents or as, you know, as your tag team partner or whatever it's set to. That would be incredible. Again, I don't know how difficult this is on the coding side. I'm not a game developer. I have no idea how difficult this would be to implement, but it's something that I really want to see is some co-op career mode with the online functionality that I can invite a friend to come join me in my career mode or vice versa, I can join theirs. That would be a lot of fun. And especially if we're not going to get a universe mode at the start, the way you'll be able to customize your career modes with your created wrestlers that are in your game, your created arenas and everything, you can completely change the landscape and make it seem like a completely different career just with all the wrestlers being different. And then when you can just invite random online people to play against you or with you in your matches that are in it, it'll be like a completely unique, fun experience, um, I think. So anyways, I have no idea how difficult that would be to implement, but that is my number three. My number four request that I want to see come to this game is going to be most definitely I want to see, I'm uh, sorry, I want to see tournaments online. Ideally multiple variations but if we can only get one 
a King of the Ring style of tournament, whether it's singles matches, tag matches, triple threat. I don't want it just to be set to only one-on-one, -on -one, but being able to have a tournament that's all triple threat matches, four-way matches, tag matches, ladder matches, hell in a cell matches, hardcore matches, whatever. Being able just to create online tournaments. So not just having a King of the Ring tournament or a style of tournament, but being able to have that online. So you can invite seven other players or 15 other players or however big you allow the tournament to be. I would love, absolutely love to have that come to the game and be able to play tournaments online with viewers and set up online tournaments with my viewers, with you guys, to play with you guys and just see who's the best of the best for the day. You know, I think that would be really cool and have some sort of hopefully um, cutscene or animation at the end of it. So for whoever wins, whether they hold up a championship, if you make it for a championship or some sort of like King of the Ring style title, just having some sort of animation of, uh, at the end for the winner would be also a nice touch. But definitely want to see online tournaments um, come to the game that we're able to set up on our own. Um, ideally, I would also like to be able to have a G1 style or um, what was the AEW version of that called? The um, Oh, it's the, it's that championship they made. Um, you know what I'm talking about. It's a G1 style of tournament, round robin style, um, points based. I would like, because they had that, and, and one reason I think that could come is we actually did have that tournament option in World Tour, I believe. I believe it was World Tour that offered you to make that style of tournament. Um, I would like to be able to have that and have that online. Um, not necessarily having to fill every single slot with an online person, but maybe you and a buddy. Like maybe you just have two player slots or five player slots, six player slots, as many as you want. The rest you can fill with AI and CPU. So you and your buddy can go through and you play your matches and you can simulate the computer matches. And then you just see if you both end up meeting each other in the finals and you can play it together online. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, Continental Classic was what AEW called it. But yeah, a Continental Classic slash um, G1 style tournament would also be very cool. Again, wanting to be able to have that online, though, is online is going to be the lifeblood of this game, being able to play with your friends and play with strangers, you know, and make friends that way, I think would be really, really important. Um, my number five, the last thing, and this is a big one, guys, the five time. Five time, five time, five time, five time. WCW champion. No, but number five for me, most wanted thing that I want to see come. Sam, I know you won't be able to do this for launch, and it might be a ways down the road, but create a story. We've wanted create a story back in wrestling games since they took it out in the WWE games almost a decade ago. We want create a story back, but you're going to have to make so many cutscenes for it. We want to be able to put in our own dialogue, have us cut promos, do the stuff. You have those cool backstage areas that you're making. Let us use our custom arenas, the custom backstage areas, all the fun stuff, and just make us a million cutscenes where we can utilize this game to its full potential with all the creativity that's going to be in this community for this game, I would absolutely love to see Create a Story come back. Again, not something I expect at launch, not even something I expect a year into the game, but if it's something you can put on your notepad of the fans want this, because fans have been wanting Create a Story for a very long time to come back, and not just having the Create a Story to make your own story, but being able to upload those stories to Community Creations so that other people can download them and play them. That was the fun of the creative story. It caused a lot of issues, um, be, especially using created wrestlers and such. Um, so maybe you limit it to, it'll stay with the, the 100 wrestlers that are in-game wrestlers or something, because that was one of the biggest things was when you would download someone else's story, it would also download all the community creation characters but just not to your game, but just in that creative story mode. And it would sometimes cause glitches where the game would just, you wouldn't be able to get to past a certain part of the story. Um, and there was all kinds of, there was all kinds of issues with creative story when you would download them. But when you could download them and you could play through them properly, they were a lot of fun to play. 
I tried myself making my own branching story modes with Create a Story, and it was incredibly difficult to do, and I never successfully made one that did everything I wanted it to do. I could I could only just do more of a uh, revenge style, you know, the way their championship matches would go, where you would just fight like six, seven consecutive matches to get to the title match and have that. That's what a lot of my stories ended up turning into because I wasn't able to figure out how to do the branching paths properly. Where if you lost this match or won this match, you'd end up here. It was a lot. But create a story. There were a lot of creative people out there that made some really cool stories that were fun to play and download. And I would love to see that come back and see what this community can come up with. Um, so definitely create a story. Again, a huge, huge ask. The development time on that would probably be crazy. So I understand it's asking a lot. But I wanted to give you guys my top five. Number one, which I don't think is a big ask, is being able to create stipulation titles where if it's in, say, a universe mode, the matches will, by default, for that title, be that stipulation. Be it a hardcore title match is fought under hardcore rules, or an FTW title match is fought under FTW rules, which is essentially just hardcore rules. But you can also make them a ladder match. Or a Hell in a Cell match. Because those are also hardcore matches. Those would still fall under the, the same blanket. You can change the match type. Um, but by default, the matches for the, that title would actually fall under the stipulation it's supposed to. As opposed to having you having to do it um, yourself. Now I understand without universe mode and without it um, affecting the story mode or being part of the story mode. It's you can when you're creating a match, when you're making a match, whether you make it a one on one or a ladder match or whatever, I very much understand when you make it for whatever title you want, you do all that. But I just like, again, it's been 20 years of universe mode where a hardcore title match by default isn't in a hardcore match. And it's always bugged me. And I just like the idea of stipulation titles, being able to have a submission match only title or a ladder match title. Uh, Hell in a Cell match title, Steel Cage match title. I love the idea of being able to pick stipulations, knockouts only, submissions only. Just ticking the boxes, what kind of thing. An Elimination Chamber only match title. I just love the idea of it. I don't know why I love it so much, but that's what I want to see. Dubious ones, now I want to know what you guys want to see coming up. So please sound off in the comments down below. Do you agree with my top five? And what are your top five? What are the top five features that aren't coming or that haven't been announced that we don't know about for ultra pro wrestling that you want to see in the game i'm not talking stuff we already know that's been confirmed that is coming to the game i'm very excited for what we're getting i'm just talking about my wishes for things that haven't been announced or that aren't coming to the game yet and that i would maybe like to put on the radar radar for all the good folks over at ultra pro wrestling anyways dubious ones that's gonna do it for this one I definitely want to hear all your feedback in the comments below. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Ultra Pro Wrestling news. And until the next one, I will catch you all later. Deuces.